Uzair and Aziz were two twin brothers who were the descendants of Aaron. They were born in Jerusalem. Uzair is introduced as one of the prophets of God sent to the children of Israel. In Ezra's time, when the wrongdoings of the Bani Israel became excessive, Allah's torment struck them in such a way that a pagan king named Bek Nasser Babli attacked Jerusalem with a huge army and killed 100,000 inhabitants of the city and exiled 100,000 of them into the land of Syria, scattering them here and there. The pagan king also captured the same number of people, making all of them his slaves. Prophet Uzair was also amongst these prisoners. Then the pagan king went on to destroy the whole city of Jerusalem, leaving it deserted. An infant of the people of Amalekah was found unattended next to their idol Nasser. As the name of the father of the child was unknown, that's why people started calling him with the name of Bak Nasser, son of Nasser. The same child was appointed as governor by a Babylonian king and eventually he became a majestic king later. It is narrated that at around the age of 40, Prophet Ezra fled from captivity, he rode on a donkey and entered into his city of Jerusalem. Upon seeing his city destroyed and desolated, his heart became full of sorrow. He went to all the four sides of the city but could not find any human being. He saw that the trees were full of fruits and were ready to be consumed but there was no one around to pluck the fruits. Upon seeing this, the following words released from his blessed tongue out of sadness. How would Allah bring back life in this city after such destruction and desolation? He said this not out of doubt but out of curiosity. He plucked some fruits and ate them. He drank the juice of grapes by squeezing them, put the leftover fruit in his bag and put the leftover juice in his leather bottle. Then he tied his donkey with a firm rope and went to sleep under a tree. During the state of sleep, he passed away. And Allah kept him away from the eyes of birds, animals, beasts, jinn, humans and nobody could see him. Seventy years later, a king from Persia entered the ruins of this city. He brought so many people here and began to rebuild the city with them along with the few of the remaining Bani Israel who were living scattered across the land. Those people made the city more beautiful and a joyous place than before by constructing new buildings and planting different kinds of gardens. After the 100 years had passed and there had been changes in Israelite affairs, Allah sent an angel upon Ezra to revive his heart and his eyes in order for him to feel and see how Allah revives the dead. The angel said, For how long did you sleep? He said, a day or part of a day. He said this because he knew he had slept early in the afternoon and woke up late in the afternoon. The angel said, you remained asleep for 100 years. There was not even a change in the color or smell of the fruits or juice. Almighty Allah said, O Uzair, now see how I revive this donkey from its bones and then place flesh upon it. Uzair observed the bones of his donkey which were scattered all around him to his right and left, and Allah sent a wind that collected the bones from all over the area. Allah then brought every bone to its place, until they formed a full donkey made of fleshless bones. Allah then covered these bones with flesh, nerves, veins and skin. He then sent an angel who blew life into the donkey's nostrils, and started to speak in his language. He rode on his donkey and entered his native place, but the people did not recognize him, nor did his household, except the maid, now an old woman. He asked her, Is this the house of Ezra? She said, Yes, but the people have long forgotten Ezra. He said, I am Ezra, Allah had taken my life for a 100 years and has now returned it to me. She said, Ezra used to be answered when he prayed to Allah pray to cure me of blindness if you are Ezra. He prayed for her and massaged her eyes and took her by the hand. Get up by the power of Allah, he said. The crippled woman stood up and walked, she opened her eyes and saw, her blindness was gone. She said, I bear witness that you are Ezra. Then she took him to a street of the Bani Israel with her. Coincidentally, 
the Bani Israel were in a gathering including the son of Prophet Uzair who was 118 years of age at that time. Some of his grandchildren were also there and they too had grown into the old age. The old lady announced witness in the gathering, O oh people! No doubt, he is Uzair, but nobody accepted this statement. Meanwhile, the son of Prophet Uzair said that my father had a black mole in the middle of his shoulders that looked like the moon. Therefore Prophet Uzair removed his shirt and showed the mole. Then, they said, none among us memorized the Torah since Bek Nasser burned it, except Ezra, and there was only one copy of the Torah, which was hidden by Saruka. He buried it in the days of Bak Nasser in a place none but Ezra knows. Thus, he took them to that place and brought it out, but unfortunately, the papers were rotten and ruined. Consequently, he sat under the shade of a tree circulated by the children of Israel and he renovated the Torah for them. At that time, two stars descended from the sky and entered into his mouth whereby he remembered the whole text of the Torah and thus renovated it to the children of Israel. Witnessing this amazing and marvelous event, everyone was astonished and said he is Uzair, the son of Allah. Therefore, it is since then that this corrupt belief spread among Jews that Prophet Uzair is the son of Allah even till date, Jews around the world are maintaining this corrupt and false belief about Prophet Uzair. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share our YouTube channel.